Some of you are nasty in the comments. Okay. Let's do it. I realized that being on YouTube is tough. You need to have a thick skin. In certain situations in life as well, a person needs to develop a thick skin. So to kickstart this video, I'm going to address some of the comments in one of the videos that I made a few months back. And it's as if people don't realize that words are powerful and words stick. So anyway, I want you to know that I do read comments. And when I read comments, I have a choice whether to respond to that comment or to just ignore. But despite the choice that I make after reading each and every comment, I take it all in and I digest it, which is why I'm making this video. How to develop a thick skin. In case you don't know what a thick skin means, it basically means that you develop the ability to not get offended or take things personally. The things that people say or do. And as I say, this idea came about as a result of reading the comments in one of my videos. This video right here. And to give you an idea of what exactly I'm talking about, I'm going to read you some of the comments. Now, this person says, I'm going to skip some of the lines and just get right to the juicy bits. So this person says, a lot of them just seem stuck there and can't do anything else. And this one says, I saw a lot of nurses dancing on TikTok. Another one says, hard pass on nurses, teachers blah 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 next one now nah. nurses got a lot of tension build up okay another one i would never marry a nurse or a teacher okay some i'm not going to even bother to read and i held them for review because it's not necessary for me to publish them on my channel nobody wants to read that anyway how to develop a thick skin and mind you i'm responding not just to these negative comments but to all the comments that other people experience on YouTube or in other areas in life in general, because you need to have a thick skin. People will say and do things and you've got no control over what people say or do. All you can do is help yourself do your part to handle those words or those actions when they come. The first thing I'll say, if you want to develop a thick skin is that you should not internalize what people say or do. People are dealing with their own issues and sometimes they take it out on you. And you also need to remember that what people say or do shouldn't define you. So don't internalize people's actions or words. Their actions or their words are a reflection of them, not you. They are not reflecting your character. They are not reflecting your personality. They are reflecting their character, their personality. And another reason why you shouldn't internalize the things that people say or do or their opinions of you is that you can't expect everyone to like you. People are different. They've got different temperaments. They've got different expectations of people. They've got different ways of looking at things. Some people are not going to agree with you. Some people will agree with you. Some people are not going to like you. Some people will like you. That's just how life is. So don't take things personally. For instance, I'm a nurse. And if somebody says nurses are horrible people, are they talking about me specifically? No. So this is why you shouldn't take things people say or do personally. It is not about you. It is about the issues that they are dealing with. Another way to develop a thick skin is to confront things, to confront issues. Don't shy away from confronting situations when they arise. Don't hide away simply because you are afraid of the reaction of that person. If they started it, then you're well within your right to respond to that situation, to their words, to their actions. So that's another way of developing a thick skin. Another way to develop a thick skin is to set boundaries. Just because somebody can say something to you does not mean that they should or you should let them. Just because they can do something does not mean that you should let them do that thing to you. You can absolutely set boundaries. You can tell them to stop or if you're not in a position to make them stop, you can ask for someone 
to help you put a stop to it. You don't have to put up with abuse or negativity. You can put a stop to it. Let people know what you're willing to tolerate and what you're not willing to tolerate. Yes, it is okay for people to disagree, to express a difference in opinion. That is perfectly fine because we're all different people. We all see things differently. That's the beauty of life. But abusing someone for the sake of it shouldn't be tolerated just because somebody can do it. So set boundaries. Another way to develop a thick skin in life is to take a step back and examine yourself because there are times when we get easily offended. Perhaps you're sensitive about a certain subject because you haven't dealt with that subject. You haven't dealt with that hurt that is festering within you. You may be sensitive to the things that people say or do simply because you haven't dealt with your own issues. The same way some people may come at you to say things because they've got unresolved issues within themselves is the same way that you may want to look at yourself and ask yourself, why am I being sensitive about this thing? Why am I taking things personally all the time? So it is worth examining yourself because at the end of the day, People have got a right to express a difference in opinion as long as it is done in a respectful way, in a fair way. If you get offended too easily, then you might want to take a look at yourself. The last point that I have when it comes to you developing a thick skin is to do with self-care. When you find yourself stressing over the things that people say or do, whether they say those things to you or to someone else, if you find yourself getting so flustered and bothered to the point that you get stressed to the extent that you start behaving out of character then it is worth you just taking yourself away from that situation and taking time for self-care i always encourage rest because sometimes we get irritated so easily simply because we're too tired Another way to give yourself self-care is to exercise because when you exercise, your body releases endorphins, which are feel good hormones. And when you feel good, you are less likely to get offended easily because you feel good about yourself. You're taking care of your mind, body and soul. Then you're less likely to get offended because you're doing the things that you need to do to have a positive outlook on life. So exercise is a part of that. And that includes eating right, minding the company you keep, the things that you listen to on a daily basis. Be positive, have a positive mindset. Sometimes instead of reacting to a negative comment or to something that somebody says to you that you don't agree with, take it as an opportunity to educate that person, to show that person kindness and to influence their opinions or their perception of you. So learn to flip the script. And you can do that when you've got this positive mindset. Kill them with kindness, as they say. And this is a brilliant way to develop a thick skin in my book. Sometimes when people say negative things about you, it is an opportunity for you to reflect and to learn lessons from that and to, to grow. So on that note, we've come to the end of this video. It was a bit of a rant, I know, but... It is what it is. And quite quickly, if you enjoy my content, if you haven't subscribed, then consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you may be notified every time I post a video. Take care.